welcome to Storytime. My name is Liz and as always it's lovely to have you with me today and thank you for choosing Storytime. Today we're going to be reading this book which is a new book to me but you'll never guess what. Look what's happened to the front cover. Oh, can you see? Someone's burnt a hole in the middle of the front cover. Not sure why. I have a feeling that we might find out in a minute. Well, we're looking at the front cover and the title is up here and it's called Fergal is Fuming. And fuming means sometimes you can be feeling cross or a little bit angry. And it's written and here's the author's name and I think he did the illustrations, the drawings. It's written by Robert Starling. What we're going to do, I'm going to turn the book around so we're now looking at the back cover and we've got the barcode which uh, we use to find out the price, to scan it on the tills because beep and then it comes up, the pricing. And we often have a picture and I think we've got the same character that we saw on the front cover, there he is. So I'm wondering if that could be Fergal. And then we've got some text, some writing at the top, and it's called the blurb. And the blurb you will always find at the back of the book. And it might be that you're in the bookshop and you're having a look round and you're thinking, what book can I buy with my pocket money? And you see the front cover and you think, oh, that looks interesting. Someone's burnt a hole in the front cover. I wonder what it could be about. Pick up the book, turn it round, and you can have a go at reading the blurb or you can ask the adult who you're with and they'll read it for you and the blurb is to give you information about the book and it's designed to sort of attract you and to think oh I really want to find out what more about that book I'm going to buy it so we're going to read the blurb and it says Fergal is a nice chap but when someone tells him what to do Fergal gets very very angry Right, so I read the blurb. Well, that certainly enticed me into reading it and, and having this hole. So let's find out what happens in Fergal is fuming and why Fergal feels so angry. Here we go. Oh, I can't see. That's better. This is Fergal. What a nice chap. He's a friendly little fellow. But when someone tells him what to do, Fergal gets very, very angry. Oh. And I've realised I think Fergal is a dragon. And remember, dragons often breathe out fire, especially when they're angry or cross. Like when his dad says, Fergal, come down for your tea. But Fergal wanted to carry on playing. And then he said Fergal had to eat up all his vegetables if he wanted pudding. And Fergal felt fiery. It's not fair! I don't want to eat my greens! <sighs> oh, we can't do that now. He's incinerated them. So Fergal didn't get any pudding and he didn't get any tea either. His buddies had to throw it in the bin. Fergal got in a pickle on the football pitch. The coach said to Fergal, You're in goal. It's not fair, said Fergal. I don't want to go in Go. Oh dear. Go Fergal. His fiery temper got Fergal into trouble all over town. He went to the bakers and the baker said, you'll have to wait for them to cool Fergal and vroom, he burnt them all. He's playing snakes and ladders. And his friend says, oh dear, you'll have to miss a turn. And swoof. It's burnt the game. 
no more playing with the game. Wherever he went, Fergal just couldn't keep his cool. So you can see he's burnt his skateboard, he's burnt his hula hoop, he's burnt his electric guitar, he's burnt his ice cream, he's burnt his kite. Finally, his friends had had enough. They've even got a fire bucket. I'm not surprised. Everyone's ignoring me, Mum, said Fergal. It's not fair. Well, Fergal, dinner is in the bin, bear's buns are burnt, and no one can play football, and that's not fair. We all get fiery, sighed Mum, but we find a way to cool down. My trick is to count to ten. So, the next day, Fergal felt fiery again when he was playing his computer game. That's not... But then he remembered his mum's trick. One, two, three, four, five... And then he didn't feel so fiery. Oh, it had worked! Fergal noticed lots of animals had their own way to cool down. When Crow felt fiery, he told his friends about it. And when Fox felt fiery, he watched the sunset. Wolf always found a nice quiet spot and made a big noise. Oh! Cat lay back and had a really good stretch. And then there was hair whizzing about and stopped her feeling, feeling fiery in the first place. Now Fergal had lots of ways to cool down. And when he didn't waste his far on being angry, he found there were much more interesting things to do with it. Yes, look, he's breathing fire into the hot air balloon. Oh. And there's a much happier and contented and relaxed looking Fergal. Well, I'm really glad that Fergal found a way to calm down. I wonder what your way is of calming down. When I'm feeling a bit fiery or a bit cross or a bit angry or annoyed, my tip or my technique is to take three very deep breaths. So I breathe in and breathe out. And that seems to work for me. Thank you so much for listening to my story today. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any suggestions or comments, leave them down below here on our social media pages, Facebook and YouTube. Until I see you again soon, remember, stay alert, keep washing those hands. And always, most importantly, keep smiling. Bye for now. Take care.